First Samuel chapter 17, verse 37. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he would deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go and the Lord be with you. Go and the Lord be with you. We see that it demonstrates how the Lord intercedes for his people. And the men of Saul army were afraid of the Goliath. And there was no one to stand up to him because most people they are afraid on Goliath. But David, filled with faith and patience for God's name, which was being performed by Goliath, and a slow with a stone and slain, we see. He was challenging God's people to stand up to him and demonstrate that their God was more powerful than he was. In this scripture, the whole chapter you will read. And how David stand for his people. As we see that in verse 37, God and the Lord be with you. The Lord will be with you also. The Lord is with David. David knew that the Lord would be with him. Even though many challenges are there. David knew that the Lord is with him. Second, because he knew that the Lord is with him, faith in God brings courage. He brought in courage. Faith can also help him face his fear with courage also in his this scripture. That with God, he can do the impossible. David showed that with God, nothing shall be impossible. Because in the lives of David, we see it is his young man. Because of God is with him, he can kill Goliath. Because of God only. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like the fact that you said that because David knew that the Lord was with him, it gave David courage. So that must mean that everyone else who didn't have courage probably didn't know that God was with them. And so therefore, David could do the impossible because of God, not because of David. The Lord is with you. I think it was in Second Samuel. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding it at the moment, but I think it's in um, Second Samuel where David had David uh, some of his wives and his children and his property, um, and the wives and children of his men had been kidnapped, uh. and. They were talking about, um, you know, so I think it said that they cried until they had no more tears to cry mm -hmm. um, because they were in such distress. And the men were even talking about stoning him to death. Um, and then amazingly, it says David found his strength in the Lord. And that's just a, a great passage that we shouldn't forget. But I think it's a parallel to the one that you just read, Brother Thing, about David finds his strength in the Lord to go fight Goliath. And to um, to have victory over him. First Samuel chapter thirty. Okay. Oh, First Samuel. Okay. That's no wonder I couldn't find it. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs>